I'm Jay with AV News, and we're here in Las Vegas for CES 2025, the biggest convention in the nation, all about tech, AI, future technology, sustainability. So much to do, so much to see. Let's check it out. We're here with Apollon, right? Am I pronouncing yeah, right. this correct? Yeah. I'm Jay with AV News. Nice yeah, to meet I'm, you. I'm, yeah, CEO of Apollon. Yeah. Pleasure. Can you tell me a little about your company and what product you're showing today? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, we are developing non-invasive CGM. So CGM means uh, continuous glucose monitoring. So diabetic people use them. So uh, doctors recommend them. Uh, insurance covers them because um, the diabetic people. Uh, should monitor uh, their blood sugar. Of course. Yeah, um, or, ordinary lives, but uh, uh, pure ten, pure than ten percent of patient use them because okay. yeah, the cost comes first, pain is next. Um, the existing CGM um, needle sensor lasts just uh, ten days uh, for just a uh, replacement, but we eliminate uh, micro needle, so we can cut cost uh, more than 50% uh, compared to existing CGM, and uh, no pain, yeah, more accessibility. So we can change it, transform the diabetes care. So you know, the non-invasive CGM is a kind of the holy grail in healthcare. Okay. So um, we. Um, we just uh, completely the clinical trials with MIT. So you know the this uh, product is um, the uh, our collaborating the, with MIT. So based on the data, uh, we get the, the solid human data. So we can get um, we we could get the confidence that oh we can get um, um, the the first. Uh, FDA approval non CGM. So, yeah. Wow. So later this year, we uh, plan to do the clinical trials with uh, Jocelyn Diabetes Center okay. uh, from Harvard. Okay. Uh, so that's a large human scale, and then so uh, based on the data, we uh, go to the uh, FDA submission for uh, approval. So approval. So within three years, uh, within uh, two or three years, uh, we can go to market uh, from the U.S. to the other countries. Yeah. Wonderful. First of all, congratulations. Thank yeah, thank you so much. I, I just learned so much in the past like minute of you talking to me. So we're, we're, we're looking at a healthcare solution uh, right? that's non-invasive for diabetic non patients. That no, non needle. Yeah. no needle that yeah. monitors glucose levels. Yes. And I think I heard you correctly. You'd be the first FDA approved non-invasive glucose monitoring yes. of, of any product in the Nobody. world. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, Nobody. And you're collaborating with MIT. Yeah, right. And then you're going to move the study through Harvard. And right. then from there, you're hoping, of course, with healthcare products and healthcare solutions, it always takes time to get to market. Yes. This bring a brand new solution. You're saying you're hoping to be on market within the next two or three years, yeah. correct? Right. Can yeah. you show me the product itself? Yes. Sounds fascinating. I think uh, I understand. Show me how it works a little bit. Oh, yeah. So we have a single the laser um, the system. So um, we, we shot the 830 nanometer laser into a uh, human body okay. and we can detect uh, uh, glucose uh, signals from the uh, interstitial fluid in human body okay. uh, and uh, uh, we can the miniaturizing this device um, eliminating the some com uh, components okay. so um, um, reduce components and the a smaller device and improving the uh, performance. So uh, our uh, error rate is uh, compared um, the similar to the existing CGMs. Okay. So uh, we can get the uh, FDA approval um, because uh, our performance uh, similar with uh, the existing units, uh, existing CGMs, and uh, maintaining small um, the uh, form factor. So. Uh, we we are confident confident the our device uh, is will be um, the first FDA 
approve the Nani Bay CGM. Yeah. That would be amazing. I think it will be because what I'm seeing here is also an already an honorary innovation award here. Yeah, right. For your yeah. product. So going moving forward, you're hoping to make it smaller, more compact, remove some components, upgrade yeah. as you uh -huh. move to market, correct? Yeah, right. You have at this year's CS, you're showing your app here, uh, the product as well. What are your main goals here at CS 2025? Oh, so you know, so in this area, so I mean, uh, Diabetes uh, area, um, uh, just uh, three uh, companies uh, selected from the CES, Abbott, Dexcom, and ours. Yeah, so we, um, we're gonna do the uh, transform, we're gonna transform the Diabetes care uh, area, and so we gonna the change uh, people's lives with uh, diabetes. There you yeah. go. I, I, think, I think that's where we should end our interview because it's so good. I'm here with Apollon and their goal is to change the lives of diabetic patients with this state-of-the-art technology that is using non-invasive technology for diabetic patients that would be the first. Is it first in the U.S. or first in the world? Yeah, first world. First in the world. They're going through FDA approval right now, working with MIT, running their study through Harvard, and hopefully will be on market soon. If you want to come down, check them out to get more information. Diabetic patients, this could change your lives. Thank you so much for your Thank time you today. Thank you so much. Yeah. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank yeah. you. See you.